this week I learned data representation. So you basically showcase how to represent a data and how to convert one data set to another. So there's three types of data uh, that I have been taught. One is obviously uh, the numeric decimal. Uh, like your 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9 and then you have your binary so this is just your regular decimal your binary which only contain 0 and 1 true or false so this is binary and then you have your special not your special you have, oh, have one special one is called hexadecimal which actually have 0 all the way to 9 and have A, B, C, D, E, and F. So this one actually go all the way where A actually represent 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So this is your hex... How, how do you spell hexadecimal? Hold on. <laughs> Uh, you it is hex yeah you have a hexa hexadecimal okay so the three so basically they are the three number set system okay um you can denote each set uh with a base so because this is only have one to nine you can actually say that this decimal uh, have a base set of 10 and binary only have zero and one they have a base set of two and since hexadecimal have all the way to 16 they have a base set, base set of 16. now what does base set even mean it means that if you want to count uh, how to read the number you have to read it according to their base set uh, but before we move there uh, why why what you might call it uh, why binary is being used instead of like uh, the decimal is because the zero and one that is how is the least amount of data or bits or yeah bits that a, a computer can register so it's either on or off so it's so simple and since it's so simple you can actually make a shit ton of them so i think like eight of them let's see one two three four five six seven eight of them is a byte okay and then you have and then this is just a singular byte and this singular byte have two to the power of eight combination which is uh which is i don't know how much is it go to the power go to the power of it come on 64 there we go <laughs> uh, my brain is not ready for math 64 so there's 64 possible um outcome you can use with just eight uh, eight bit or one or just a single byte and we computer most computers already have like a 32-bit system so it's basically a 2 to about power of 32 which is equal of uh, a shit ton um, sorry let me let me see if I can uh, 2 to the power of 32 god damn it I can't use the blood I don't know how to use this bloody computer I mean calculator it's a sh a, 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 a ton <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of uh, uh, representation, representation, ton of number you can use it. So that's why uh, the computer only read everything in 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 bits, so zero and one. And I uh, but why am I zooming in? Zoom out. Okay. So then why is there also hexadecimal? Why is there all the way from 0 all the way to F? To be frank, I have no idea. But uh, from like the first Google search I do, apparently hexadecimals is to help 
uh, as human, that is the the, uh, the person that's coding or making the computer to read the binary much easier or to simplify because let's let's say let's say two to the power of eight you need like eight number you need like eight eight of the uh the bits right but or let's not even say let's two to the two to the power of 16 let's say a 16 16 bit okay so you have 16 number and there's a lot of number in the line okay instead of this 16 number you can just represent as like f just one you know because this is the base of 16 so if you just say f you, it, it basically mean it's 16 you know because here you could represent like let's say 0 0 0 0, 0 all the way 0 0 1 so here have like 15 0 and 1 1 it just represent 1 or here you can just say 1 16 is 1 and if you want to represent like 5 or like 12 you say 12 sorry not 12 b 16 and this is 12 or here you actually need to do the ding dong bing bong to get 12 so that's the the first result i i know but doesn't matter so how do you read uh uh, what you might call it any number representation well you actually need to break them in parts so let's use a normal decimal you have let's say 5072 so then you actually need to dissect each number uh, by its own and you have to have a set value at the what is it called a place value that will a place value for each position they are in so the two is in the position of uh, the, the, the first position which in computer term every first com uh, first position is start with zero so you because this is also the base power of 10 you actually say 2 multiply with the base power of 0 I'm sorry a 10 to the power of 0 okay so this is the base power the the base number and this is the the position and obviously there'll be two times one and they'll get you two seven is in the second position or instead of thinking of second position is one position ahead of the first so instead of zero you get 10 to the power of one which means seven times ten which means 70 okay zero is in the third position so you just say 10 to the power of 2 so you have 0 times 100 or just 0 and then lastly you have 5 times 10 to the power of 3 which is 5 times 1000 or you get 5000 and this uh, this uh, I can't draw a straight line this entire thing uh, you need to sum them up, uh, and then you'll get your your reading. <laughs> your your reading. This now like here me like explaining like how to dissect five thousand seven hundred uh, uh five thousand and seventy two into individual part doesn't make sense because obviously it's five thousand and seventy two because you know it, if you add them all up, it will be back to the same. So like, what's the point of doing all this? The, the point of doing all this is because this is how you're going to read the other number representation so instead of like decimal let's say you use uh, what's the what's the next one called bi uh, binary so I'm just gonna write down um, six binary okay uh, right off the bat in my head I have no idea what's the number here okay but you can read it by using the same method you have one here so you have one multiply the instead of 10 you now have the base power of two so you have two to because it's a first number you say zero so it's one times one uh, you get one here you have zero times two to the power one zero times two zero um, I'm just gonna 
fast forward a bit so this is 0 times uh, 2 to the power of 2 which is 0 times 4 is it 0? no it's 1 I don't know why it's right 0 it's 1 times 2 to the power of 2 so it's 1 times 4 and then it's 4 okay so I'm just gonna you, you can do the rest here but this is 1 this is 0 4 the next one is 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 uh, then you have another zero and then this is a two to the power of uh, These three four and five two to the power of five, which is the 32 There we go So this is a uh, two to the power of uh, this blah. <laughs> This is how you read the then you sum them all up So when you sum them all up um, you get oh God, so you get uh, I can't count I can't count 44, 45 in decimal. So this is, uh, you convert the binary in decimal. So this is only useful for us reading. The, the computer will just read this entire thing and that'll be it. Okay, yeah. Next up, uh, we have hexadecimal, which is hexadecimal so you can uh, read it as like <coughs> a 1 3 b uh, 7 okay so so if you if let's say this is uh, presented you as a hexadecimal you will have to again dissect it into each uh, each number or each character I guess so 7 times the power of 16 because it's uh, not the power of 16 times 16 to the power of 0 because it's base 16 so again this is 7 times 0 sorry 7, 7 times 1 you get 7 here you get uh, B is 12 so this one character can represent 12 times 16 to the power of 1 so you get 12 times 16 which is where's my calculator keep forgetting to take out my calculator before starting a recording <coughs> so 12 times 16 is 192 uh, this is 3 times 16 to the power of 2 which is also means 3 times 16 square 16 square is uh, 256 256 times 3 is 768 uh, this one here uh, represent 3 uh, sorry not 3 1 times 16 to the power of 3 is starting to get larger and larger so which is 1 times I'm just gonna write here 1 times 0 uh, 499 uh, 4096 I can't speak anymore and lastly this is represented as 11 times 16 to the power of 4 which is 11 times 65,536 uh, which is uh, 72,896 so if you sum this all of this up um, which will give you a grand total of 70 sorry 700 I can't bloody write and read. <laughs> 725,959. So, as you can see, we just used five character, but we're able to, um, <clears throat> um, what I call, say uh, or understand that this is a six digit uh, numeric number. Okay? So that is probably the purpose and obviously uh, you don't try to convert decimal to hexadecimal This is mostly used for when you're using uh, binary and try to com 
uh, convert it into a uh, hexadecimal but I'm not sure how one do that I know how to do this and this is how you do the thing excuse me so yeah that is hexadecimal and so this is all just now the last two thing we show you how to convert binary or hexa uh, decimal into just normal decimal but let's do this the other way let's say you have a string of not a string you just have a number let's say a uh, of 42 and you want to convert it into a binary now right off the bat of my head i don't know what's 42 i don't know how many number or how many uh bits uh the the binary needs to represent 42 um so i just there's a method to use is you use um division so because binary is a base power of two you just have to divide this by two so 42 divided by two you get 21 and yes i am using a calculator fight me uh 21 divided by two you get um, 10 with a remainder of one okay then you have 10 divided by 2, you get 5. 5 divided by 2, you get uh, 2 with a remainder of 1. And then 2 to the power of 2, uh, 2 divided by 2, you get 1. Okay. So with this, you read from the bottom up. Okay. You read from the bottom up. And you see this with the remainder, you could put a 1 at the side. And those without a remainder, you put a zero. Okay, so then you read from the bottom up. So, uh, you have a zero, one. I guess you don't need to read the uh, the one. So you just have a one, zero, uh, one zero. I feel like this is somehow wrong. <laughs> Hold on, I feel I feel like I did something wrong. Another day where I check my notes again. <clears throat> Oh no, I'm stupid. <laughs> you, you actually, there's still more. 2 divided by the, uh, 1 is 1. You divide 1 by 2 again. You get a 0 with a remainder of 1. That's, that's, that's how you're meant to do. So now you read from the bottom up. Uh, so you have 1, 0. They really just do 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 zero wow i didn't know <laughs> that's how perfect so then you try to calculate so this is uh zero uh two zero eight zero thirty two so thirty two plus eight plus two we have forty two so boom this is correct so this is how you convert a binary it's not binary uh, a decimal into a binary is there a shortcut to make a new? Yes, there's control N. So, um, now we can also convert binary, not binary, I keep saying binary. You can also convert decimal into hexadecimal. <coughs> so let's say we put a uh, uh, thing of a random number like 722 okay so how to represent this in hexadecimal first of all because it's the base power of 16 so 722 divided by 16 uh, you get 45 with a remainder of 0 0.125 okay so this is important this 0 0.52 times you need to multiply by 16 uh, It's not a remainder, it's the, the decimal point If you just 722 divided by 16, you get 45.125 So you just take the the whole number uh, before the decimal point Then you take the after the decimal point 
you multiply by 16 so 0 0.125 times 16 you get a 2 so this is basically a 2 okay so then you continue on 45 divided by 16 you get uh, where's my mouse 16 you get 28 sorry not 28 you get 2 and then you have a decimal point of 8 1 2 5 multiply by multiply this by 16 8 1 2 5 times 16 you get a 13 now remember 13 can be represent as a C I think let me check is it C or is it C or B Oh no shit I was mistaken <coughs> Ah shit okay I think previously I mentioned uh A is like 11 and then like all the way to F is 16 no no I forgot okay no, no. A is 10 Okay 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 big blunder big blunder A is 10 B is 11 and then you go all the way to F is 15 the reason why I thought it's 16 because I forgot you have a 0 so you have a 0 to 9 so this is already a 10 number okay then you have uh, the 11th the 11th number which is also 10 uh, start with A so A B C D E F where F is 15 okay so um, oopsie on my part <laughs> This is why my show should not be any way form of method educational. So this is actually meant to be D. Okay. So then you have 2. 2 times, uh, sorry not 2 times, 2 divided by 16. You get 0. 0 0.125 times 16 which we already know which is 2. Up here. Then you read from the bottom way, way up and you say this is 2D2. So you write down here indicate this is the hexadecimal. So 722 decimal is equal to 2D2, uh, 16 or hexadecimal. So that's how you read or uh, not convert in, uh, decimal into hexadecimal. Lastly, there's also um, a, a corrector representation um, under the under this A S C what L L. Okay, let me Google search what that means. A S C L L. Oh, I I is it I I is I I. It's not LLS I I okay, uh or st American Standard Code for Information Interchange, so it's basically um a list uh, a whole long ass list of um hold on of how do I say this um. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A whole long S list where they use one byte to represent number or character. Okay? So, remember one byte, I think, I, I'm pretty sure a byte is 8 bit. So, one or 8 bit or one byte have 8 bit thing. Okay? So this one you can represent as 256. So there's 256 combination uh, uh, in how you write uh, in the binary. So 256 uh, in computer language means that you can represent 256 different situation or character or effects. For example, let's say you want your um, your computer 
to write an uppercase uh, uppercase pula uppercase e okay so the computer doesn't have the the store uh, uh doesn't have like a database with just the image and the character e already stored no 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 they have the binary combination where if this combination of binary has been inputted or has been uh, light up or whatever has been shown you know uh, then the computer will know to convert this binary into showing uppercase letter E and this is equal to in decimal form 69 okay that is very intentional and obviously this is uh, in binary uh, in decimal you obviously have a eight digit binary here that represent uh, 69 and once it's this found in the computer they will execute capital letter e okay um it's not just e there's also all that they have every alphabet and special character so let's say you want a uh, uh you want a character let's say you want x to the power of y so x here let's say you want a capital x a capital x is 88 in in decimal the the i don't know what's the thing called okay what's that thing called it's called a carrot it's it called it's called a carrot anyways if you want the power of arrow you need to have 94 and the y will be a capital letter y will be 89 so then here you need to represent in uh, binary 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 so you'll have a long list of binary and when the computer read it they will uh, convert this into uh, this sentence character okay and there's a lot of them there's a um, lowercase also there's a lot of a uh, um, special character also a lot of a uh, condition or, or, or what you call the uh, here right is a control representation so let's say you want to backspace let's say you say you want to spell um, cheese it's like oh shit I, I misspell cheese you know now you want to backspace you want to re uh, remove these two so obviously again the computer doesn't have the knowledge uh, or have a special character that just say oh backspace mean backspace no you need to tell them in binary 8 uh, yeah in binary 8 uh, if you they see an 8 they say okay remove the backspace 8 and then you need another 8 uh, this in decimal but obviously you convert in binary then they do another backspace so yeah uh, there's a lot of them so yeah that's that's basically it that is all everything I have learned this week in my computer organization I forgot to say what subject is this is computer organization uh, in form of data representation and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess without further not further ado <laughs> uh, without anything else um, yeah Goodbye.